First question came from my guy, Dewan. He said, if the Ravens say they are all in with Lamar Jackson, why not just give him a fully guaranteed contract? If he's your guy, what is the big deal giving a fully guaranteed four to five year contract? Unlike Watson, he has accomplished quite a few things in this league, LOL. My thinking is that they maybe are not 100% sold on Lamar Jackson. More like 90%. It's that small percentage that's got me thinking they may not be fully committed to Lamar Jackson. And that is an excellent question to start us off today. And appreciate you all watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can leave a like on the video too. And, and let's get into this. Are all the Ravens really fully committed uh, on, on Lamar Jackson? And if they are, why not give them a fully guaranteed deal? Well, um, with the fully guaranteed part, uh, that just... That's something that doesn't happen very often, uh, especially with quarterback contracts. There have been, what, two? Kirk Cousins and Deshaun Watson, right? I don't think there have been any more. And with the NFL, a lot of times with, with the NFL, there are certain things that they don't mind happening, and there's certain things that they like, oh, we, we want to keep this away from the game as much as we possibly can. It may be trending that way, but we want to keep this away as much as we possibly can. Now, think about this. You know, like these owners and stuff and GMs and all that, they, they all talk to each other. They're all in the same business. But, like, if think about this. If they were to give Lamar Jackson fully guaranteed contract, and then on top of that, like Deshaun Watson already got it, and, and a lot of them were like, man, you Browns, why'd you do that, man? And I mean, even Steve Shotty, he said it. But if they were to give Lamar Jackson a, a, a fully guaranteed contract, so many people would lose their mind. Reason being, because, uh, especially with the agent part. Because, you know, the, the, this whole agent thing, like, it's like with, with, the, with him being his own agent, him not having an agent, and just his camp taking care of everything, a lot of people, they, they don't like that. Yeah, as y'all already know, a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people feel like Lamar Jackson, oh, he missing out because he don't have an agent. He don't know, his people don't know this, they don't know that. And I, I, was, even, I was even talking to somebody uh, yesterday. I was talking to somebody yesterday, and they were like, oh, man, Lamar's people, uh, they, they were saying that it's, Lamar should have had an agent, and this contract would have been done by now. And Lamar, he's going to miss out on, and there's, there's some stuff that his people probably don't know about and whatnot. And I said, whoa, 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 you, 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 you cannot dismiss, you can't just be so dismissive of what his, what his people and what, what his people in his camp know or not, because you don't know. They could have somebody who's an expert in the NFL contracts, and, and we just do not know. So they've obviously, they've handled things the right way so far. Why change stuff up now? Why, why call it audible when, why, why try to fix something that's not broken? Y'all have been doing this thing without, without an agent thus far, and it's been working out very well for them, obviously. And, and now they're at this point uh, of Lamar Jackson's career where he's going to make a lot of money, a whole lot of money. But again, once this deal is done, whenever it is done, with whoever it's done with, hopefully it's the Ravens, but we know business. We know business. So it's not a guarantee that it's done with the Ravens. I know one of my guys on Twitter was like, hey, he's like, no, don't, don't, what are we worrying about this for? So many Ravens fans are overreacting. We all saw what happened with, um, with Dak Prescott. He got franchise tagged, and a lot of people didn't think it was going to work out. Boom. Cowboys end up signing him, and they franchise tagged him twice. And I said, well, yeah, hey, that's true. But, hey, we all remember what happened with Kirk Cousins. He got franchised twice, and boom, he got paid, but it was by somebody else. But are the Ravens all in on Lamar Jackson? It's a good question. Now, back to the whole guaranteed thing. I just I don't think the Ravens will want to contribute to making a, guarantee, a guaranteed type of contract the norm. We know when Lamar Jackson does get paid, um, he is going to reset the quarterback market. We, we know it's happening. Um, but who is it going to happen with? And how, how, how do the Ravens feel about Lamar Jackson? Obviously, they love Lamar Jackson. They've said all the right things on this side. Hey, we want Lamar Jackson to be here for the foreseeable future. John Harbaugh spoke about it in the presser uh, on Friday. He said, oh, yeah, Lamar Jackson, he's going to be playing for us for a long time. He said something like that. And I was like, hey, that's nice. And again, on, the, on Lamar's side, too. Hey, I love Baltimore. I love the organization. They're they real friendly and they love it and da-da-da-da. That's nice. Both sides can say all the positive stuff about each other that they want to and that their heart desires. That is a beautiful thing. And I appreciate that. 
always appreciated um, any company that I worked for before where they are very embracing of, of your family. Uh, they are a very welcome. They have a very welcoming atmosphere. That's a beautiful thing. And that's something that you cannot take for granted. But business is business. Business is business. And business can undercut that every time. It can get in the way of that every time if the business ain't right. So with Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens, are, are they all in on Lamar Jackson? Now, my guy, he, he put his number at 90%, that the Ravens are 90% all in on Lamar Jackson. Ah, I don't know. I just, I, I would disagree with that. Reason being because I, I just, again, and I've said this before, and this was way before this contract thing got out of hand. So we've been saying this, so this is nothing new. This ain't got nothing to do with the contract. But I just feel like the way that they've built this team, the way that they've constructed the roster, the way the, the coaching hires and whatnot, it, I just feel like it, it has not really maximized Lamar Jackson's potential. So if you're not really trying to maximize somebody's potential, are you really all in on them? That's a question that you got to ask yourself. But in, in my opinion, I, I would think not. I think they love Lamar. And I think they will want to keep Lamar. I, I think they obviously got their cutoff price where they're like, hey, no, we ain't going past that. And I, well, obviously, because they ain't go past where Lamar wanted them to go. So we're here now. Lamar going to ride this thing out, fifth-year option. Okay, let, let's see what happens. But again, like we talked about in the video from yesterday, his price is only going to go up. It's only going to go up. And it's crazy. So many people keep talking about the risk. They, they, they bring up the injuries, the injury risk. And is there an injury risk? Yeah, of course. Just like every single NFL player in the league. But with Lamar Jackson, you know, when they talk about injuries, it's different. It's different. Then, you know, a lot of people, they, they, they bring up the ifs. Oh, man, what, what if he didn't have his legs? Then would he be Lamar Jackson? If Tom Brady didn't have all them rings, would he be considered the greatest quarterback of all time? If Peyton Manning wasn't an audible genius, would he be considered one of the smartest quarterbacks of all time? If Ray Lewis couldn't tackle, would he be one of the best linebackers to ever do it? If Ed Reed couldn't catch, would he still be considered one of the best safeties to ever do it? You see, you see what happens with that if game? When you do that, oh, well, well, what if they don't have that? What if they don't have that? You can't do that because they do. They have it. They have it. So stop trying to take away stuff that people have just because they're not your typical player. Or you you want to try to push some narrative or whatnot. That ain't going to work. It's not. But bottom line, Lamar Jackson, he is going to get his bread one way or another. One way or another. I know some people like it. Some people don't like it. Oh, <laughs> There's a lot of people earlier, like, when this contract stuff started, they're like, oh, man, Lamar should take a team-friendly deal. Team-friendly for what? You taking company-friendly deals at your job? Well, you know what? You guys don't. Oh, it's time for me to get a raise? No. Company, you keep that raise. No, you don't got to pay me. Pay me extra money? What? For what? What if you at your job and you're doing overtime? You're doing all this overtime. No, guys, the, four, the 40 hours in the week that I worked is fine. Yeah, I worked an extra 20 hours this week. You, you guys keep it. I don't need it. You guys keep it. No, hey, I love the company, but you guys keep the money. Who's doing that? None of y'all are doing that. So stop trying to get other people to take less money at their job, especially when they do for a raise, especially. But anyway, with Lamar and the Ravens, um, we'll see how this thing, we'll see, we'll see what happens with it. Man. We'll see how this thing uh, shakes out. Um, I expect him to have, I mean, I expect him, him to have a good season regardless of what, whatever was happening with this contract or not. Um, but now, I mean, he's already had all eyes on him for the longest, and now all eyes are just going to continue to be on him. All the questions going to come up and all the everything, the, the, the being overanalyzed and criticized, that's, it's, it's, it's going to happen. And again, we, we said this back in 2018. We said that whatever Lamar Jackson does, it, it'll, nev it'll never be good enough for some people. And hey, that is, this still stands today. It still stands today. Ain't nothing changed with that. But now with this whole contract thing, all eyes are going to be on him this whole season. 
Um, and people are gonna be wait. A lot of people are gonna be waiting to say, hey, "Look, any interception that he throws, any incompletion that he throws, any sack that he takes, any throw that he misses, you see, he doesn't deserve that contract. He doesn't deserve it." Oh, you know it's on the way. And if you don't know it's on the way, I'm here to tell you it's on the way. Every, watch, watch. And y'all going to start seeing some ridiculous stuff. I promise you. I promise you. I guarantee you. You are going to see some ridiculous stuff. But it is what it is. So Lamar got a job to do and he knows that. He got a big job to do. Now, something that I've also seen um, where people have tried to push... Sort of pushing. I know we're going way left. I know you, this question was all the Ravens all in on Lamar. I don't think they're all in. I think they're in, but I don't think they're all in. But um, one thing that a lot of people have said, oh, well, Lamar hasn't won a Super Bowl. He doesn't deserve his money. Lamar Jackson is what? One and three in the playoffs. He doesn't deserve his money. Lamar Jackson should not be paid. He don't deserve his money. What? You, you, you seen these other guys that gotten paid? And again, the one that keeps coming up, Deshaun Watson. What has he done to, 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 to deserve his money? And in fact, with Deshaun Watson, he was like, man, getting paid is so nice. I'm going to do it twice. He got paid from the Texans and then turned around and got paid from the Browns too. Ooh, that boy is eating. Eating. How, how's Kyler Murray Super Bowl doing? Is it good? Is it nice? Oh, how's Derek Carr's rings looking? They, look, they looking good? You, you tell me because I, I don't know. So you see what I'm like, yeah, man, it's, but again, the, the narratives are going to still continue to come because one is Lamar Jackson and two is contra, this whole contract thing. Um, but I, and as far as the Ravens also being all in on Lamar Jackson, what have they shown you when it comes to building a roster that they are all in on offense, defense? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, but what have they shown you on offense when it comes to building this roster that they are all in? I, and I would, I would love to, I would love for somebody to show me offensively how the Ravens have been all in, because they haven't been, they haven't been. And th again, this is old stuff that we've been talked about a long time ago. After 2019, there were no excuses not to be all in. To see what Lamar Jackson did and then the Ravens' offense did in 2019, no excuses after that to really go all in. Not be like, oh yeah, we try to get this, oh we try to get that, oh we do. No, make stuff happen. Make stuff happen. Mark Andrews, hey, it worked out. Amazing. One of the best tight ends in the league. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. What about besides that? The, the offensive line been taking hits after hits. And I know Ronnie Stanley, he's been hurt. But still, the contingency plans besides Ronnie Stanley have not been good. They ain't been good. And then you like, the, as far as the receivers, I know so many, oh, well, they drafted a, a first-round receiver in uh, 2021, Rashad Bateman. They did, and he looks like he's going to be the part, but still, where's the proven receivers at? What happened with that? W why not really give your quarterback the, the best chance? Maximize this guy. Ravens ain't done that. They ain't maximized Lamar Jackson. They haven't. They haven't. And again, with, with the whole, I know there are going to be some people, oh, well, Lamar, he, did, he wasn't showing that he could really throw the ball that much. He was inaccurate in this, that, and the third, which is also another narrative. But anyway, what Jalen Hurts. Oh, this dude, boy. They, oh, boy. They say the same thing about Jalen Hurts. What do the Eagles go out and do? What do the Eagles go out and do? Tua, who, boy, Tua has been drugged through the mud, man. That boy, boy, he, I, I feel for two of them. He's been drugged through the mud. And they even tried to get Deshaun Watson. It obviously ain't going through, but they tried to get Deshaun Watson. They were really trying to get Deshaun Watson. And two were just sitting there like, man, <laughs> well, this is awkward. What they do? They drafted Jalen Waddle. All right, cool, cool, cool. That's fine. But then they went, you know what? Let's go get Tyreek here. Tua got to prove it to us this year. But you know what? We're going to make sure there's no excuses for Tua this year. We're we, we, we going all in for this guy. Going all in for him. And I mean, we can go down a list. The Josh Allen, the Kyler Murray, the Derek. We can go down a list. But y'all already know. That's the old conversation that we done had before. But 
The reason I bring it up is because his question was, are the Ravens all in on Lamar Jackson? You tell me. Yeah, this feels like a dream. The YouTube team keep it clean Welcome to another episode of Question from Subs And special shout out to the team keep it clean patrons If you want to become a team keep it clean patron You go to patreon.com Slash engraving vids All that stuff is down below in the description But let's get a question from our patron My guy Martin M He said hey team keep it clean Hope all is well with all of y'all I'm excited for week one Get to see my two favorite quarterbacks battle it out I really hope Flacco and Lamar ball out If Flacco only has one more great game in him I hope this is it But I still hope we win though Also here's my season record prediction with Lamar 12 and 5 without Lamar <laughs> He said with Lamar 12 and 5 Without Lamar 4 and 13 Also pay Lamar Jackson Right now Hey I um I'm looking forward to the game on uh, Sunday I, I, I said 28-20 Ravens I would love though um, Cause these Ravens they've been talking about how angry they are They've been talking about they feel disrespected. They, and they obviously got a lot that has been going on. Um, I would love if they just came out there and just mashed the gas. And they were nonstop putting up points, stopping the Jets, and just going off. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, as far as your record prediction, I'm around that same place, 12 and 5. Yeah. 13 and 4 would be nice, but I'm thinking 12 and 5 more realistic. Um, but hey. It's time to start seeing come Sunday. Next question came from another patron, uh, Rasta Sheen. He said, happy deadline Friday. Well, that, you know when he sent this. He said, a question not about the Ravens, but are the Bills that good or are the Rams that bad? Watching the game last night got me nervous for the Bills-Ravens game. Oh, yeah, you should be. You should be. But, again, it, it's, it's week one, so we don't even really know. It, it's, it's literally week one, so it's way too early to tell that kind of stuff. Next question came from my guy, A.W. Juice, man. He said, oh, he's in a bunch of uh, crab emojis at first. When I saw this email come across, I, I thought I had got an email from Jimmy Seafood because I'm subscribed to that little thing or whatever. But this was from him. He said, the crab, meaning that's who the Ravens are engraving. Cheap like Mr. <laughs> he said, cheap like Mr. Krabs when it comes to the offense. Uh, see, again, I, I, I wouldn't say cheap when it comes to the offense, but cheap at certain positions on the offense. Because they paid Ronnie Stanley a lot of money, too. They paid Mark Andrews a lot of money, too. Um, but... Yeah, you know, anyway, uh, with that being said, um, you know uh, how you always talk about philosophy change, new culture, etc. Not even though, not even necessarily new culture, but just really philosophy. The culture is just fine, but the philosophy, well, maybe they go hand in hand. But anyway, uh, well, what if that's taking place as we speak, meaning it's in the works? Think about it. John keeping Greg Roman. Yeah, I know Hobbs was extended, but so was Brian Billick, and he was gone after 2007. Yeah, um, Harbaugh being extended, to me, it made him safe, but I know when we talked about that, Months ago when it happened A lot of people were like Oh well I don't necessarily think That means that he's safe But I, I felt like He shouldn't have been extended Even after the, all the injuries And stuff I know But I didn't feel like He should have been extended I, I feel like he should have Had to ride it out On this last year to deal But then I know the, the the optics of that And whatnot Oh if John Harbaugh's On the last year of his deal Then that would make people Not want to come here As far as coaches And, and players and what So I, I get that So we, we get the business side Of it too The extension But anyway Um he said, them not providing Lamar with that guy at wide receiver leads to mediocre passing in the playoffs or if we come up short and not getting there. No guarantee that Harbs uh, stays, and if Lamar leaves, sure, insert Huntley, but Huntley doesn't win like Lamar. Uh, but Shadi uh, will be eating his steak, shrimp, lobster while wearing his Team Keep It Clean shirt and may scratch his head. <laughs> I know he ain't got no Team Keep It Clean shirt. But anyway, uh, his cash cow and Lamar is gone, and his head coach continues with the mediocre hiring at coordinator. Uh, I believe Harbaugh is carving his way out. But he's unaware that he's doing so. Sadly and unfortunately, Lamar may have to be the sacrificial lamb for that to happen. I hope not. But, P.S., if we trade Lamar, call Minnesota and exchange him for just Justin Jefferson. I mean, if, <laughs> what the heck? No, man. Uh, he said, I, I know I just want Justin Jefferson uh, in purple and black badly. But any who, my brother, you, the wife, Carter, and the dog have a blessed one. Every time I pray, I always add y'all in there, man. God bless. Hey, appreciate that, man. Um, hey, I, oof, wow, this was, this was a lot right here. Um, John, as far as John Harbaugh caught being on his way out, 
ah, it, that is such a tricky one. Because again, I, I feel like he's safe. I feel like for John Harbaugh to be out, it would take something just astronomical to happen to where it 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 would just have to be so bad, like so bad. Not even eight and nine. Not even like. No, it, it would. I feel like it would have to be re, like for them to fight hard. Oh man, especially him being neighbors with the costs and stuff, and him like he, he's tight with. He's he been working with these guys for what, fourteen years, so uh, of course he's tight with them. I just man, I I just can't see it. I I cannot see uh, Hobbs being on the way out. A lot of times, even if stuff gets rough, I really can't see it because I just feel like they are just so tight. And they really got that big trust for each other. Next question, what really comment came from my boy Kevin S. He said, hey, Graven, uh, I'm not saying the Bills are overrated. I'm saying the win over the Rams is overrated. The Rams only have like... <laughs> he said they only had like five good players on their whole team. Bobby Wagner, Matt Stafford, Cooper Cup, Kinda Ramsey, Donald, and that's it. Paying all those players finally caught up with them. No tight ends, no running backs, no offensive linemen and defense. Uh, no receivers, no pass rush. I hope the media keeps hyping Buffalo. Your thoughts? No, man. I, I saw somebody else was saying the same thing that, that it's finally caught up to them. No. And and even if 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 it catching up to them is uh what two Super Bowl appearances in what the last five years, one Super Bowl championship, and them starting a brand new season 0 and 1, if that's it catching up to them, hey, Ravens need to do the same thing. This question came from my guy Jonathan. He said, Hey, engraving, hope everything is good with you and the family and uh health and just your life as a whole. Appreciate you, man. Uh, my years of watching has been a joy because you're a genuine person. But with all that being said, I believe this year offense is similar to the Patriots. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I could see that with all them tight ends. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but anyway, he said uh, the year that they had Gronk and Aaron Hernandez where they used those two tight end sets and attacked the middle of the field and throwing fades to them in the red zone. Do you see a Patriot-esque offense with our tight ends? Thank you for all that you do. No, thank you, Jonathan. Um, yeah, I, I can see that, especially because, again, they got like 63 tight ends on the roster right now. Um, and yeah, all of them are still here. They, they really, yeah, because it's Andrews, Likely, Boyle, and Oliver. And then soon it's going to be uh, Kolar, uh when he gets healthy again. So, yeah, I could definitely see them running some Patriots-type stuff, and hopefully... They could get some Patriots type of Super Bowls too. Next question came from my guy G Star. He said, Hey, Engraven, hope the family is well. Oh, yeah, we're doing really good. I appreciate it. Uh, shout out to all the team, keep it clean members, watchers, subs, uh, pat patrons. Keep pumping your boy Engraven up. I uh, want to see him hanging that YouTube plaque next to the team, keep it clean sign. Oh, yeah, that, that would be cool, man. Never know, we'll, no, but no rush. We'll see. But I appreciate that. Ho never know. Anyway, he said, for my question, though, is after watching that Buffalo Rams game, I heard pundits on multiple occasions comparing, uh, compare the running of Stafford, who's slow as molasses, and Josh Allen to Lamar Jackson. See, um, that, that just means that that is the uh, Lamar Jackson is the pedestal for, for them to compare it to. He's the benchmark. For it to be compared to Even though like It is definitely not the same It's definitely not the same And, and even with Josh Allen He was getting some nice runs off yesterday Even though he wasn't protecting his body He was taking a lot of hits Shouldn't be taking all those hits Josh But anyway um, He said they were, they were comparing it to Lamar Jackson I love that they are bringing his name up in a positive manner But why do they always dog Lamar in one hand Then praise him in another It gets me In my opinion he's a top three quarterback And should be paid as such I don't know if Eric DeCoster didn't watch him. But anyway, he said, thank you. Have a great day. Let's see how this year goes. Can't wait to watch live coverage uh, when you can do it. With much love, G-Star. Appreciate it, man. Um, I mean, that's that's how it is. And, and they, they do that with a, lot, with, a, with a lot of quarterbacks where they'll be uh, praising them one minute and then they'll be trying them the next. And that's, I mean, that's life in the NFL. It's about what have you done for me lately. If you had some great games recently, they'd be like, oh, yeah, go, go, go. Well, depending on who you are. And if you had some bad games, then it could be like, ooh, ooh, this guy's terrible. But it all just depends on who you are. Because for some quarterbacks, you can have some great games, and they'd be like, yeah, and then you can have some bad games. They'll be like, oh, no, 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 no. It's not his fault. Next question came from my guy Wise, uh, and this was Smoke and Mirrors, PR. Okay. I don't know if you're talking Puerto Rico. But anyway. Uh, he said, hey, Mr. Raven, it's been a w well over a year since my last submission. But like all other members of the team, keep it clean. You can't get rid of me as long as you bring in that Ravens news. I don't know. There have been some people that done, uh, we done got rid of. Because they were like, you know what? This, this channel sucks. He's terrible. But anyway, I uh, had a thought while I was shaving. <laughs> hey, that same thing be happening to me, too. 
So I, I feel you. And he said, I just had to see what you and the flock thought about it. I've heard on several occasions people compare the Lamar Jackson contract talks to the LeBron James contract talks before he went to Miami. Shout out to the Florida Ravens from the frigid north from Nova Scotia, Canada. Oh, oof, this sounds cold. Anyway, uh, my thought is that LeBron used his decision as a marketing tool. Who is to say that Lamar isn't doing the same? Uh, this actually is a great way to keep the Ravens name and Lamar in the media during a slow news cycle. Uh, if he gave a decision at the beginning of free agency or any time earlier this year, that would have been the end of it. We are still talking Ravens, and you know the saying, any news is good news in show business. For all we know, there could be a deal. Well, he sent this on September 8th, so keep this next part in mind. For all we know, there could be a deal done in principle, and the public just doesn't know it yet. Uh, think of how well uh, Hollywood kept his movement a secret. Just saying, that would be some great A publicity. Man, let me know what you think. And to quote two great men, let's go Ravens, big trust, and I'm out. Love that part. Well, this is a little awkward then, because we saw <laughs> what happened, or really what didn't happen, with this whole contract. But yeah, that I, that was something that um, I was thinking, and I know a lot of other people were thinking the same thing too. Oh, what if the Ravens and Lamar, what if they actually trolling everybody, and they, they got this contract taken care of, and but yeah, they didn't, so we're here. Next question came from Paolo. He said, hey, why is it that none of the sports media say anything about Josh Allen running? Oh, they do, but they always say, oh, he's a fighter. He's a tough competitor. He just loves to have fun. He's playing football out there. But anyway, he said, I am watching the season opener, and he gets hit more than Lamar does, and no one in the media says anything about him getting injured and how he depends on his running. You are 2,000% correct about that one. And they don't. And again, he, he was taking some hits out there, but you, you, you kept hearing the same stuff. Oh, man, y'all, he's just such a competitor. Oh, Josh Allen, what a great runner. Oh, man, he's a unicorn. But, hey, he keep running like that, he's going to be a busted up unicorn. Next question came from my guy Rico X. He said, what's up, Engraven? Been a minute since I asked something. Hope all is well down there in wonderful Florida. Yeah, everything is really good. Thank you. Well, being a Ravens fan, we are accustomed to the team bringing in an aging veteran uh, wide receiver. Bolden, Steve Smith Sr., Willie Sneed, etc. After the Bills-Rams game, I thought, could I see the Ravens eventually making a run as Stephon Diggs? He said... <laughs> He said maybe when he's like 32 or 33 years old. Maryland ties, I'm sure he'll have a long, successful career, but it would be cool to see him back home. Anyway, like Ronnie Stanley at practice on Thursday, I'm out. <laughs> That's good. I mean, with how the Ravens have operated for the most part, you just never know. With Stephon Diggs, though, the thing about him, um, even when he gets older, not, not saying I want the Ravens to do it, but even when he gets older, he still has a very high chance of being productive because he's such an amazing route runner. And the speed, if the speed goes away, all right, cool. You're not as quick as you used to be. All right, cool. But if you still know how to run routes, you'll always have a job as a wide receiver. Next question came from Ray. He said, just a hypothetical. If Lamar leaves, which team do you think would invest in him? I think either the 49ers would be the best situation because they will invest in Lamar and he will have a plethora of weapons there. Mm, that would be something. But they, they got Trey Lance right there right now. Um, I think the Bucks. I think the Bucks would. The Dolphins would. Um, really just a lot of teams would just teams that really ain't afraid to really go all in on offense. Next question came from my boy Flirt Nowinski. He said, Hope all is well with you and yours, and let me get straight to the madness. When everybody talks about Lamar and our wide receivers, it's always been it's not enough. It's never, oh, they can be great as a unit. But if you look at Pat Mahomes and KC, it's like no questions, they are going to be good. Why is that? No shady, but Hartman uh is is John Ross 2.0. Once again, no shade to that good brother, LOL. Uh, Sky Moore and MVS, which were okay with Adams, but as we've seen a lot of times before, when a number two is with a dominant number one, they eat. And when they turn into a number one, stuff gets a little hectic. Ooh, yeah, Ravens got some experience with that. How is his wide receiver room Super Bowl caliber, but ours is they have a bunch of unproven guys? I haven't seen anybody call Patrick Mahomes' current wide receiver room Super Bowl caliber. I, I, the only thing I've seen is people continue to question it, too. Like, ooh, we don't know how that's going to be. We'll see. But, um... I ain't seen nobody uh, call that room Super Bowl caliber. Uh, but he said, all fandom aside, I would take all wide receiver room over theirs in a heartbeat. <sighs> well, right. I mean, right now we, we got an old chief in, in a wide Ravens wide receiver room. But um, I mean, I guess so. I don't know. He said, and like every reporter will be once Lamar covers, o uh, covers over the number one in a few months, I'm out. Oh, that, that would be nice. That would be a, a lovely thing if Lamar changes jersey number one. He said, also, my friend is a real big Eagles fan, and I'm always watching your show. As you know, it inspired him to do an Eagles podcast. And we are both Dallas Mavericks fans, so we will collaborate on a Mavericks one. 
My good friend said, thanks for the inspiration. Hey, I'm glad he's jumping out there to do it. Hey, so, so shout out to your friend and tell him he should bet on himself like Lamar. And the last two questions came from my boy Manuel. He said, what's up, Engraven? After watching the Bills-Rams game, I came out with one thought. Lack of weapons. The Rams uh, solely depending on Cup for plays and no other receivers stepping up to fill the void of Jefferson and OBJ for as much as they were given a chance, they did nothing to take advantage of it. And then I look at all Ravens and say, who are receiver threats besides Mandrews, Bateman, Prochet, Robinson? No disrespect to them, but coming this Sunday, they will have to step up and showcase us that the gamble EDC and Bashadi are doing of not getting Lamar a primetime wide receiver for a Super Bowl run will work in the end. I pray that the gamble works because we saw a team getting blown out of their own stadium for lack of weaponry in, in the out, on the outside and in the slot. I pray Lamar makes them stars like Aaron does to any wide receiver. I pray Lamar shows the world who leads this new era of quarterbacks. See what I did there? Oh, yeah. Um, hey, yeah, and that's, that's true. Uh, it, now it's, it's, these guys are going to have to show up and establish themselves. They're going to have to prove to the Ravens and the NFL world like, hey, we are legitimate. And he said, P.S., if EDC was watching your channel, then he should know that if he doesn't have the money to pay Lamar, he can just let us know, and the entire Ravens flock will cash up him to make him stay in Baltimore. That's true. We sure would. It wouldn't be that much money to send him, but we, would, we, would, we could all chip in. Uh, and he said, after hearing Lamar's press and everyone asking him about his contract instead of football, despite being told to ask football questions, it let me, make, let me wondering why the Ravens don't want to pay Lamar. And if Bashadi is watching your vids, I want to ask him personally, what are you afraid of? Of Lamar not being your franchise quarterback, even though he has surpassed that mark of him not wanting to play at the same level, despite showing over and over and over his love for the game and winning in it. Uh, is it not being able to build a team for him to win you more Super Bowls, even though you haven't given him top primetime wide receivers? Or is it to set a precedent of paying quarterbacks fully guaranteed money despite the Browns doing a Brown thing? If it's the last thing, give Lamar 260 guaranteed uh, in a $300 million contract and he gets the rest when he wins his second Super Bowl and makes you more money. If it's not the last question, then excuse my rookiness on high-end business, but you are letting your flacco fear win you over. <laughs> When you know and your wallet knows Lamar ain't post-Super Bowl Flacco, he is the unanimous MVP. Lamar Jackson, heir of the QB thrown in the NFL. You don't see that, then please sell the franchise to the city of Baltimore. They'll happily give Lamar his money and his weapons to get more Super Bowls. Not only him, but the fans of the Baltimore Ravens. And P.S., you will face a reminder of what happens when you don't pay your quarterback, and if that's your method to get another Super Bowl with Lamar, you'll have to write a check. Your billion-dollar wallet won't cash in the bank because Lamar's price went up to Jeff Bezos' money. Who my boy Manuel ain't playing. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Ain't you no know chance what I mean. You see my boy, he like got a man.